John, for about a month now, people have been tweeting me like crazy. You got to get this guy on your show. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Why are they so excited about you? What, what's so exciting and fresh and reinvigorating about your candidacy? Well, I have to tell you, it's exactly what you've been talking about for the past 15 minutes or so. Uh, above the cut line, which you mentioned, uh, the institutions that Americans respect and revere, the military, police officers, and small businesses. I have two of those boxes checked because I understand, because as a combat veteran, how to keep Americans safe because I've actually done it before, real life experience. I also don't just talk about creating jobs. I've actually created them. And then when you take a look at the opportunity to really talk about conservative values and, and fight the fights that, that people really don't want to get in a mess in uh, and the ability to and the willingness to not only serve the country but serve in the community and uh, go to Washington to serve again. As the world becomes a more dangerous place, so, people want somebody in the Senate who, uh, who understands how to keep John, where would on you stand on immigration, on DACA, on the <laughs> wall? These are, are, these are areas within the GOP itself that there's a lot of, that there are a lot of problems and pushback. Well, that's very easy for me because uh, in our field, uh, and especially with, even with the incumbent, I'm actually the only one who's actually secured a border. I'm the only one who's actually kept Americans safe. And I believe that our president's policy of putting America first doesn't mean America alone. It means uh, defunding sanctuary cities. It means securing our borders with all means available and necessary to make sure that we're supporting our border patrol officers and those in blue who keep us safe uh, uh, here in our cities and our homes every single day.